Hi, welcome to today's tutorial that is solely dedicated to Leonardo AI. Now, Leonardo AI is basically an online tool that you can use to create amazing artwork. And lately, yes, you can actually use it to create your videos as well. Now, this is actually a really good alternative to Mid Journey because it actually lets you get started for free. So Leonardo AI has actually become really extensive. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do this video in two parts. So today we are going to look at image generation and basically we are going to familiarize ourselves with the Leonardo AI platform. And in the next one, you're going to cover anything else that will be remaining. So before we get started, as usual, remember to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go over to Leonardo AI. There's a link in the description or you can just go to Google, search for Leonardo AI. All you need to do is hit create account and you'll be able to create your account with either Apple, Google or Microsoft. So for me, I'm going to use Google. I find it really easy and convenient. And very easily here we are. So we are just going to choose a username and you're going to answer a few questions here and we are in. So this is the homepage of Leonardo AI. And as you can see, you're provided with 150 tokens per day. And if that's not enough for some reason, then you can just go ahead and upgrade. As you can see, they have other plants. You can just look at them and see what fits your needs better. So as you can see in the homepage, uh, we have the image generation. Uh, we have the real-time canvas. We have the canvas editor. We also have motion, which is actually one of the new features, as well as the real-time generation. And there's also the universal upscaler, which is in alpha, basically meaning that as for now, it's basically in the initial stages of testing. So on your left side, you can see they have just listed the same services that they offer. So we are just going to look at these uh, services one by one uh, to get familiarized with the platform. So you're just going to go to the community feed. And in the community feed, uh, you, you're going to find the images that have been created by other users of the platform like you and me. And you can just scroll through all this and you can you can just scroll through all this. And if you see an image that you actually like, all you need to do is just uh, hit on it, click on it, and you're going to be able to see all the details of that image, including the exact prompt that was used. And the funny part is that you can actually copy this prompt and use it for your own image generation. Now you also have an option to actually use that same image to create a video that you want, if you want, if that's what you want to do. You also have an option to use the images and image to image. Basically what that does is it gives the AI the direction uh, in which to generate your image. It's like a reference point for the prompt that you're going to give the AI. Now, uh, you can see all the other details here, uh, including when this uh, image was created, the resolution, uh, the model that was actually used. You can actually copy the seed and use it for your generation. I'll show you that later, uh, probably in the next video. And if you want to just use the same model that was used to generate, all you need to do is just generate it. For instance, this is Photoreal, just generate with Photoreal. And down there, as you can see, uh, there are more images that have been have been generated in the same manner. Now, going back, we're just going to go back to the home page and in the community. So in the community feed, you're also going to see the upscaled images, all the images that have been upscaled here. So you can just click on one and you'll actually be able to just do the same thing. You can see all the details of the image including the prompts and every other information, just as we saw in the previous image. Now, the one thing that you have to put in mind is that every image that is generated with Leonardo AI on a free account is royalty free. That means anyone can actually download it and make use of it. So if you want your images to, to be private, then you have to have a paid plan. So as you can see here, I'm able to download this image and I can actually use this image without any copyright strike. So when you're generating your images, just make sure that you bear that in mind. Now, the next thing here you can see is the motion. And basically these are just the videos that have been generated with Leonardo AI by Leonardo AI community. 
you can do the same actually you can just if you see an a video that you like you can actually just click on it once you click on it you'll be able to see all the details uh, of that particular image just as you saw in the videos it's uh, sorry in the images it's not any different so as you can see here we are able to see the detail uh, the prompt that was used we are able to even see the negative prompt that was used and in the same way i'm actually able to download this video and i can use it without any copyright strikes so the next thing that we're going to explore is the personal feed basically what you find here is all the images uh, that you have generated or the videos so here you'll find the images that you have generated and in the upscale if you've upscaled any images that's where you'll find them and in the motion of course now this is where you'll find the videos that you've generated using leonardo ai so we can actually come back here later and just once you have generated some images we'll come back here later just to check them out here yeah? so the follower feed basically this is the generations of the people that you're following on leonardo ai if you have a creator that you really like and you're probably following their work this is where you'll find them and the next thing is if you've liked any images or if you've liked any images or videos this is where you're also going to find them now the next thing you're exploring is the training and data sets uh, the so like I said before, Leonardo AI is based on stable diffusion. So if you're training any of your models on Leonardo AI, all the data about the model is going to be found here. This is where you're going to find all your data. Now, the next thing that we are exploring is the fine-tuned models. Basically, these are the models that are ready for use. And here you're going to find uh, in under platforms model. You're going to find the models that have been created by Leonardo AI platform. And you can actually just uh, go through them. As you can see, some of them are, you can only access them in the pro plan that is with Alchemy. Uh, as for the rest, you can actually use them. And in the community, you can see all the models that have been created by users like Q and me. And yes, you are able to actually make use of any of these models. And in your models, if you have trained any models, this is where you're going to find them. If you've favorited any mode, if you've made any models favorites, then this is where you're going to find them as well. Now we are going to image generation. And the first thing you realize is uh, we have a place to type our prompt. Uh, we can also check the add negative prompt. We also have an option to choose the model that you want. And if the model that you want is not available you can always hit select from other and you can select from either the community from maybe a, pl a platform model that is not listed and once you get something that you want then you can just hit generate um just click on the model and hit generate to this model and as you can see our model has been changed and the next thing you can do is add an element so what an element basically does is it fine tunes the model style to give you know some extra bit of you know customization now the next thing that you're looking at is the number of images uh so here you just set the number of images that you want to receive per creation so if you want the ai to give like three or two images after each prompt uh with each prompt then this is where to set that and currently you are able to use alchemy for 10 images a day so make sure you check out that feature it's actually pretty amazing because what alchemy does is that it gives the best quality possible with the prompts that you provide so the quality of image that you get with alchemy is way better than you know without so we're going to actually put that into practice a bit later so stay tuned for that like i said before when it comes to the free account all your pub all your images are going to be public and anyone can actually use them so if you do not want that you need a paid plan uh, that's the only way you can uncheck that uh, public images button and you'll be able to make your images private and copyrighted and the next thing that you're also going to do here you're going to look at the aspect ratio this is where you change the aspect ratio of whatever it uh, of the images that you want to create and for the guidance scale, it's basically the strength with which the AI follows your prompt. So if you want it to strictly follow your prompt, you're going to put a high guidance scale. The same way, if you want to leave a lot of wiggle room for the 
for the AI, then you're going to you're going to put a, or a lower guidance scale. I always find the sweet spot to be around seven or eight. Now, if you're looking to generate images that have uh, repeating patterns, then you will want to check the tiling button. If not, you can just leave that one off. Now for the image to image, you just go to image guidance and you'll be able to upload an image. And this image will basically be used as a guideline for the AI to use when generating your uh, when generating your images. So you'll be able to upload this from your computer or from your post generation or even from the community field, yeah? So we are just going to have a prompt here and you're going to input the number of images. So you're also going to change our aspect ratio and choose the model that we want. We are also going to get rid of the element. I do not want, the, I do not want this for now. So we're just going to uncheck and confirm. And now we're just going to hit generate. Now, before we do that, there's also the option to for prompt generation, whereby the AI gives you uh, ideas of how your prompt can look like. So you're just going to input your basic prompt and copy that, and you're going to paste it in the prompt generation. And then the AI is just going to give you ideas of uh, ideas of prompts based on your basic prompt. But for now, let's just leave that. You're going to come to back to it a bit later. So the alchemy settings, you can just leave this for now, but as you can see, you can change the settings uh, to your liking. For now, we're just going to leave this as is, and you're just going to hit generate. Uh, so you can see the AI has given us two images as the same way we chose up there. And our two images are actually okay, but we need to tune this a bit, I think, to get a better kind of image now which i feel like this is better but so we are just going to copy this and we are going to ask the ai to give us another prompt for the same we are just going to input we're just going to paste our prompt here and you're going to click ideate so the ai is going to give us four four examples of you know the uh, prompts that we can use to generate our images if you want six just check six if you want to just check two just same. So we're going to find a prompt and we're going to hit generate. And as you can see, there's a bit of an error. So we're just going to change the part with an issue and we're just going to hit generate. And here we have an actually better image. So I actually like that one better. So we're just going to stick with that. So I actually like uh, the quality is actually really good. So now we're just going to give the AI a different prompt and you're going to use, this time we're just going to use the prompt generator. We're going to copy our prompt and you're going to paste it in the prompt generator. And you're going to ask the AI to give us ideas of a prompt based on that prompt. And here you have, well, here we have our five prompts. So you, of course you have to read through them and see which one makes most sense. And you're just going to hit generate with it. And here you have our our image, which is actually really good. I really like it. The quality is actually really amazing. And now, if you want to delete your image, all you need to do is just hit delete there. Same way, if you want to download, you can just hit the download button here. And it's going to download as a JPEG. And you also have an option to duplicate your image. You also have an image, an option to zoom in or zoom out. And this also gives you the option to actually remove a background for your image so that you can have a transparent background. And this other tool now lets you upscale your images as you want. So like I said earlier, the images that you get with Alchemy are actually of way better quality compared to without. So we're just going to see that in practice right now. As you can see, our 10 images I named with Alchemy are exhausting. So let's just now go on to create without Alchemy and see. And now that you're not using Alchemy, you can see we can actually make use of the guidance scale. With Alchemy, you actually cannot do that. Now, this is the image that we get without Alchemy. As you can see, the quality is, well, the quality is, is not as good as with Alchemy. Like, the prompt is the exact same prompt that we used. So, since we are not going to be using these images, you're just going to delete them. And now, when you go to your personal feed now, as you can see, our images are here. 
Well, as you can see, we've not covered the real-time canvas, uh, real-time generation canvas editor. That is something that we're going to be doing in the next video. So make sure you keep it AI Tools Unlimited. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.